<clears throat> hey guys, how's it going? Uh, Razzle Dazzle here, and I'm back with you again for making your fifth layout, which is the third part in the three-part series about level design in Counter-Strike. All right, uh, today we're going to be talking about resolving balancing issues with your previous maps uh, or with your future maps uh, or with your current map. Uh, so first of all, who am I? Um, my name is Razzle Dazzle, like I said. I've been a level designer for... Um, I've been a level designer making Counter-Strike maps for five years. Uh, before that, for two years, I was working with the Minecraft marketplace, creating modern houses, towns, uh, villages, cruise ships, and etc. Um, before that, uh, for about three years, I was working as like a, an artist, just making my own stuff. Um, and then for two years before that, maybe even more, uh, a game designer making other shit. So I have a long history of making maps. My current map is Dumbo. Uh, Dumbo is on the Steam Workshop. You should check it out. Uh, La Marite is doing the art for it. It's going to be an incredible, incredible map when it is finished. I highly recommend you go grab uh, nine friends and test it out on your own. Um, today we're going to be talking about balancing a map. All right. So balancing a map uh, used to be a little bit easier than it is right now. Uh, nowadays you've got a lot of utility. We've got a lot of really, really skilled individuals playing the game who are going to abuse the shit out of your maps. All right. So you've got to make sure that you're following some simple rules. Um, first of all, let's talk about T-sided or CT-sided maps. All right. So these are maps which aren't working. All right. Uh, typically, any map, and whether it's good or bad, uh, will either be CT-sided or T-sided. Um, it's very rare that you have a bad map that's balanced. Um, if you have a bad map that is balanced, uh, good for you. Uh, you're probably ready to find someone else to help you fix it because uh, that can be really difficult because pretty much no matter what you change, it'll either become CT or T-sided. I recommend if it's a balanced map and it's not working, just restart. Um, but if you have a good map that's not working because of a balance problem, this video is here for you. All right. Maybe if there is a next time, I'll talk about balancing a map uh, that has fundamental flaws in its layout because uh, there are certain situations that I know. Uh, where something like that has happened. All right, so we've got CT-sided maps and T-sided maps. All right, so you've already read these statistics, I'm sure, uh, but I'm going to say the, the main causes for a CT-sided map are going to be uh, insufficient bomb site cover. Uh, the reason why is because T's just can't plant the bomb. Uh, CTs are able to watch it from their entrances. Uh, for example, uh, A-site vertigo right now, there's insufficient cover on the bomb site. It's very, very difficult to get that bomb planted because someone from elevator or someone from behind a uh, headshot with Molotov uh, can blow your shit. So uh, another another clear example uh, would be uh, for like rotation timing being too fast. Uh, this is a big problem in overpass. By the time the T's rotate around through connector to one of the bomb sites, all the whole team is there. Uh, by the time they rotate back to A, the whole team is there again. Uh, so it forces a five v five engagement. Not actually, um, but if you're playing against Jam, it does. Um, um, then we're going to have uh, the last common causes, which are CTs getting map control. Um, this is not always a timing issue. Sometimes it's actually like uh, the way that your map is created kind of an issue. Uh, so even if you push the CTs further back or push the Ts forward, it'll end up being like a, a relevant problem because uh, the CTs get multiple entrances in the middle. That's a big issue. Uh, if you've got CTs getting like more than two entrances in the mid, uh, for free, for example, they get control of both of the bombsite connectors in the mid, uh, and they also have, like, for example, Mirage. Uh, CTs get a big, big control of mid, but on Mirage, underpass is somewhat, or at least most of the time, underneath terrorist control, giving Ts that second option in the mid. If you've got, you know, three entrances in the mid for CTs and one entrance for Ts, there's going to be a problem. Uh, it's just not going to work out. So we've got insufficient bombsite cover, rotation, rotation timings being too fast. Uh, middle control being given to CTs, which re results in rotation control being given to CTs. Um, and then CTs controlling both bombsite entrances. Uh, this one's a bit controversial because there are some maps uh, where the CTs uh, get control of both bombsite entrances and it works. Uh, for example, Dust2. Um, Long Doors, ideally, is underneath uh, CTs control. They can molly it, they can smoke it off. Um, not all of Long Doors, but they at least get to watch it, right? So long would be the entrance and long doors is underneath T control, kind of. There's there's some complication there though. As you can see, 
because of the timings, it's uh, it's sometimes T-sided, sometimes ET-sided. It can be really difficult to win control of those doors. Um, and sometimes you'll lose the round outright because you go for it and the T's have set up a long push that's just going to flash you like to hell. So uh, another example uh, of like the bomb site being controlled by both bomb site entrances being controlled by CTs is like 2019 Vertigo. Uh, think talking about uh, like Astralis locking down on ramp. Uh, it was really difficult for teams to uh, get out of B, get out of A because stairs is underneath CT control and CTs get control of ramp as well. And the way that they patched it is by adjusting the timings. And as you can see, it doesn't always work because the clearest example of a T-sided map in 2023 was Vertigo. There you have it. It was incredibly T-sided. Uh, you've got the T's getting control of all of ramp. The CTs have to throw multiple flashes, multiple smokes, and a Molotov just to get control of the A ramp, right? If the CTs don't get control of A ramp, the T's are practically on the precipice of the bomb site because before the changes that they made to A site, it was really, really, really hard to hold on to that site unless you had four uh, players or five players holding it. Um, even with three, you would get mollied out, you get flashed out, and you get naded out, and you would have to go for the retake. Retaking A, not so difficult if you got five players, but still. Let's move on to the next slide, which is what is the right way? Um, so the right way is obviously not to have a T-sided or a CT-sided map, but how do you do that? Um, you're going to need to draw a map using a four square, especially if you're a beginner like you, uh, or an, even an intermediate mapper, uh, you're going to want to draw your map along the four square lines uh, because it's quick, it's easy. I drew this one in our previous episode in, in 15 minutes. So what you want to do is follow these lines, the pathing lines, right? And then you're going to want to create the boxes around those lines and then finalize your layout, all right? And this isn't perfect, for example. Um, we've got the, the B bomb site which realistically only really has two entrances, right? You wouldn't think that that's uh, completely good, uh, but this is going to be such a powerful retaking option uh, since uh, T's can only kind of play the post plant here. It's just one corner, but CT's will be able to uh, pay, play uh, retakes from here very easily, especially because they've got not one, not two, but three entrances into their CT spawn corridor. This can get smoked off, but it'll actually give them access to a second piece of cover here. So we've, and also this can all get mollied out just with one Molotov. So we've got like a big complex map here. Uh, by the way, these crates are much larger than they actually will be in the game. Uh, this is not a 64 by 64 crate. This is 64 uh, units right here. So the map is like slightly larger than what you might originally think when you're looking at it. I'd say each one of these crates is about 128 by 128. They're quite large. Okay. Um, I'm assuming that you probably read all this. So that means we can move on because uh, it's time to draw now. All right. So if I were you, I'd take out a piece of paper and a pencil. I'm going to be using paint.net uh, because that's what I'm used to. Also, I'm like artistically challenged at drawing straight lines. Uh, that's why I did not go into architecture. Um, so maybe consider taking out a pencil and some paper. It's quick. It's easy. I can't record myself drawing pencil and paper. What if I could? All right. It is time to open up paint.net. So I didn't set this up this time because I want to show you how it works. I just click Command N a few times here. I'm going to double click Lines. Here I'm going to double click, and this is going to be Boxes. Here I'm going to double click, and this is going to be Finalization. Finalization. And then this one is going to be Labels. That's going to be our bomb sites and etc. So let's start with Lines. Okay, in the background, by the way, we can just call this White because this is always going to be either black or white background, depending on what kind of, like we could, we could even do a black background if you want. Uh, we could do a black background in this video just to show you what it looks like when you're working with a black background uh, and white lines, because working with a black background, white lines sometimes works for people. So I'm going to start with slight this time. Um, I'm going to be working out of our T-spawn, CT-spawn situation. And this time we are not doing a four square layout. We're going to be doing something advanced and complex, kind of like Dumbo, all right? So we're gonna need to show that our B site is going to be right here, and our A site is gonna be all the way back here, all right? Middle is gonna be over our B site, and CT spawn is gonna be behind our B site, all right? And then we're gonna have T spawn all the way over here, 
Uh, so the, the central theme is this map is going to be a donut. Uh, we're going to be having a T-spawn that has multiple paths to A, right? Uh, both of which are going to be uh, complex and different. Um, and there will be a connector outside allowing them to rotate between the two, but only very near the A site. Next, we're going to have our main connector over towards the outside of B section, right? And then we're going to have our main entrance uh, to be A for T's. Then CT to A will be very simple connector, but we're going to have uh, nothing in between, nothing like that. So B site is going to be in the lower, and there will be an outer region that has um, a few entrances that lead down into B uh, that T's or CT's will be able to play over. So the CT's will sometimes back up onto the bomb site, and the T's will be able to flank through CT to A. All right. Um, this is very normal uh, kind of map because if you're pushing the main over towards A, you might decide that you're going to back up and go more towards B. Um, the CTs will probably be flanking you through here, which means it's going to be diff more difficult for you to back up. But if the CTs don't go through A, that means that they're not on the bomb site to defend. Okay. So tried and tested CT side setup. Let's move on to boxes. So first of all, let's take these lines and let's drop the opacity down right the way. Let's move to boxes. And now we're going to be switching to
go razzle. Dazzle. Um, yeah. All right, sweet. That's our layout. Um, if you think that this layout is uh, dog shit, then go ahead and write a comment. Uh, because this layout is completely perfect. It's the greatest Counter-Strike layout that's ever been made. Um, it's flawless. And uh, yeah, end of the story. Peace out, guys. Uh, I'm a little tired now from all that, but it was worth it, man. Uh, it was really good work. Uh, thanks for sticking around. This is a longer video, but it's a more complicated map. Um, and I'm also probably going to scrunch down uh, the whole video time by quite a bit. Um, yeah. Peace. Thanks for joining in this three-part series. And if you want to see more, leave, leave some comments. Yeah.